Iron Pro feels like a really vital platform at the moment. It removes some of those traditional boundaries around travel and around cost to allow a huge range of people to access, to take a first step into this industry, to challenge themselves in a space that feels very comfortable to them in the comfort of their own home, to learn from industry, industry leading professionals, to take risks, to be bold, and whatever stage you're at within your career, I think there's a tutorial or a session there for everybody to recap information that feels important to you, to experience parts of the industry that you're interested in but maybe haven't had the chance to step into, or to really push and to elevate your skill set to the next level. I Am Pro offers a myriad of opportunities for all people. Like I Am Pro would have been transformative for me. I grew up in a little place called Whitby in North Yorkshire, which is very scenic but a bit of a cultural desert. And for me, access to people who are working within this industry currently, access to people who right now were doing what they were speaking about, who were at the forefront of making work, of writing plays, of putting together productions, to have that sort of knowledge would have elevated my experience and would have helped me grow at such a massive rate. In Whitby, there wasn't really anywhere where you could buy plays, let alone start to think about how you can break down those monologues. It all felt like this huge mystery. How do you apply for drama school? What does it mean to be involved in casting? What does it mean to have an audition? How do you even begin the journey that starts as sort of an interest as a small kid and it finds a joy in performing? How do you begin that journey to try and build a life out of this career? And to have something like I Am Pro that could demystify that, that could upskill you as an individual within that, and that could start to build a community around you of other artists, of people with a shared interest, would have been invaluable and would have allowed me at 16, 17, 18, to begin trying to apply for drama school, to come down to London and to step into this industry with a whole new confidence and a whole new knowledge base that I didn't have and that you have to learn on the job, whereas now you have the opportunity to learn that from people who know what they're talking about in the comfort of your home, in, in the comfort of your own home, and that's magic. I think hugely, I am pro offering a little bit of access into where to begin, just where to start feels so key. Very similarly to you, my first audition was for the National Youth Theatre when I was 16, and I did a bit from Hamlet, and I took in a plastic pirate sword that I'd got from one of the beachfront cafes in Whitby, because I felt like it needed to be something. I didn't have a clue where to start, didn't know where to begin. It felt like this huge rock face that I had to climb, but with no handholds, with no ropes, and what I am pro is offering is those key bits of information. It guides you through those first steps to understand how to begin. And then what's so brilliant about I Am Pro is that it not only guides you through those first steps, but if you're at a stage in your career where you want to push further, you're working, I Am Pro is working with a level of artists that can help elevate those skills, can help refresh, recharge. But for me, at 18, not being able to work with anybody, not knowing how to break down a monologue, what sort of speeches to pick, how it would be within a room. You're going in blind, you're going in unprepared, underprepared, in a place that makes you feel very vulnerable as an individual. And what I Am Pro offers is knowledge and safety and this brilliant step up that for people who are interested in this career, but maybe don't have an access through contacts, through buildings to what that means suddenly you can feel empowered. It gives them the power. Iron Pro gives kids like me the power to be able to go into these rooms and stand alongside people who've had years of experience and thousands of pounds worth of tuition. And that is the biggest gift that any, anybody can give is education and knowledge, because that is what empowers us to make change. Drama means so much to me and has had a massive impact on my life. My mum went back to work after six weeks after having me, so I grew up at my grand and granddad's a lot. And the best bits of theatre I've ever seen were my granddad telling stories in the front room. I'd have a bowl of apple sliced up, a bowl of sliced up Mars bar and a bowl of sliced up cheese. And I'd have to eat two bits of cheese and apple for one bit of Mars bar, but I'd sit there and my granddad would tell stories. And they were the best bits of theatre I've ever experienced. Because in a front room of a council house in North Yorkshire, I could be transported to anywhere and I could feel things that even though I hadn't experienced them, suddenly I was allowed and able to feel an emotion and a connection. And for me, that's the magic, it's shared experience. We can sit in a room and we can go through something together. And through words and movement, you can make people feel. And for me, drama meant that I'd walk out of rooms at school, 
out of theatres, out of cinemas, and the world had seemed a bit more exciting. For that first few moments that you step out onto the pavement, the world's full of possibility and opportunity and magic. And for me, that's it. Drama's as close to magic as we get. This ethereal, brilliant connection between performer, performer and audience that is there and then is gone, but for those who've shared in it, special, really special. To a young me, growing up in a part of the country with minimal arts provision, minimal support and a group of friends that weren't interested in this, I'd say, trust, follow your heart. Trust that just because you are in a space where you aren't in theatres all the time, where people can't impart that knowledge, doesn't mean that you don't have something very special to give. In fact, it can be the opposite. You can have something more special. There is something about your journey, about the stories that you want to tell, the communities that you can platform, the voices that have informed you, that this world needs to hear. So don't let the sense that you aren't good enough or that you don't know stop you. And that's where something like I Am Pro can empower you and can empower these voices that otherwise would be lost to platform, challenge, celebrate communities that otherwise will just lose, they'll disappear. Looking back now at me growing up in Whitby, I never thought I'd get anywhere close to the West End. It was never even a thought. I came down to London and knew that the hubbub of a city, that a diversity of people excited me. And what drama and theatre gave me was a community, that ensemble. Suddenly you're part of something. And for me, that's where the joy is. The joy is in going to work every day to collaborate to be surrounded by people who bring different voices for you and to that foundation of ensemble allows us to build cathedrals of theatrical magic. And if I can keep building, then I'm a very lucky man. Thanks, buddy.